Hey, how's it going, Chris? Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video that I made for you. Um, I made this video to give you an idea of your position on Google and the internet and see if prospects in San Diego can find you to get their massage done, all right? Massage therapy. So I just want to jump straight into the video. Um, as you can see, we're on one of my business pages. My company's Amp Local. We do web design. Um, SEO, PPC management, and my uh, what I really love doing is lead generation. Um, so we can talk about that later. Um, so here's your website. Let me just jump right in here. Here's your website. Um, so this is kind of like a landing page, right? Um, it's your intro introductory page. Um, I just want to click on the home page. And uh, so you already kind of know Google is very popular. 82% of the population, um, if they need a pro product or service, they're going to be using Google. All right. So what they do is they go into Google. I'm sure you can attest to this because you do it yourself. I know I do it. Um, you know, you go to Google. If you're, say, if you're trying to get your carpet clean, you'll type in carpet cleaning Escondido or carpet cleaning San Diego. Or if you needed a limo, you type in limo San Diego. It doesn't matter what the product or service is. That's how we... Uh, find information on the internet, all right. Especially that's how you get it through Google, all right. So to find you, to find um, Shoreline Therapy, you know, we would go to Google, type in Massage Therapy San Diego, all right. So this is really based on your address right here. You're a San Diego business, okay. So I went to Google. I typed in Massage Therapy San Diego, um, and I'll go ahead and tell you up front. I searched the first ten pages, and I didn't see a website at all. All right, so um, there's a number of things uh, that's causing this, and I'm going to go over them. Uh, Google has an algorithm, it, as it's called. It's actually it actually has 200 determining factors. All right, that's a lot to take in, um, but I'm going to go over the four of the very most important ones. The four of the very most important that are part of my SEO business model. Um, all the other elements kind of just fall underneath that one. So if you're doing these four right, everything else falls into place. Okay. So I want to show you what you pair up against your competitors real quick. So let me this is a snapshot a snapshot of your pretty much your SEO online right now and how much business your website is getting. Um, so as you can see, uh, pretty much nothing, right? Um, I'm sure you can agree that you know you're you're looking to expand and grow in this field, so that's kind of how we linked up, uh, especially online, right? So it looks like you had a nice little spike in December right here, all right? Um, you know, it was the holidays. I'm sure everybody was trying to buy gift cards or what have you. Um, but you're not getting any consistent business. So that's what we want to get. We want to get consistent numbers. So this is you. This is what, let me show you what the top competitor in San Diego looks like. This is elementsmassage.com. These guys are generating 26000 a month. That's like crazy huge right there, right? Um, they're generating 26000 That's the green line. Okay, that's SEO. That's just the maps and the organic listings, right? Let me go back. Let me take it one step back real quick. So you already kind of know you, this is your map listings and then your organic rankings start right here. Okay. So these guys are actually uh, number three right here in the maps and they're actually number five right here. So I just chose them to kind of show you. They're actually one of the biggest competitors because they've invested a lot into um, their website um, and also PPC. All right, so they're actually running, you know, about th almost thirty thousand dollars a month in AdWords, which is ridiculous. All right, now I don't, I don't suggest you do that. I think that's a very large investment. They have very, very, very large goals. If you can afford that, of course, um, I'd love to take that on for you. But I want to get you right here. I want to get you there naturally and get your website out of obscurity and get you some natural organic clicks. Okay, to your website. Um, later on, along down the line, you're going to find that once you get to a certain point where you can't grow no more with, with Google because San Diego is just so big, right, then you're going to want to expound here, all right? And there's many ways that we can go to kind of expound in all the cities in San Diego and have people drive across San Diego to come get their massage from you. Um, but we can discuss that down the line. Um, so I'm going to be focused on your SEO just for your website in this video, okay? Um, and I'm going to talk to you about the four of the determining factors, all right? Keyword research um, is the first part of my business model. Um, obviously, massage therapy, that's what you do. It's the most popular search. It's the most popular keyword. So for February, we got about 380,000 searches, 
All right, next month we're going to have 430,000. This is based off of last year. So definitely great field. I mean, you already know you're a professional. Um, so people love massages. I love getting my massage. Uh, you know, Sonia loves getting massages. Um, so uh, that's my girlfriend, by the way. I think you met her at the gym. Anyway, I mean, I'm not going to get off topic here. So tons of searches. Definitely want to dominate San Diego. There's 1.4 million people in San Diego. Want to be at the top of those searches. So let me talk to you about um, your website real quick. I want to go back to the intro page. So you're, the biggest problem with you right now is that whenever somebody hits your, uh, well, Google especially, when they look at your website, um, they don't see authoritative content, okay? This is the first page that Google sees, okay? This is typically the first page of your website. You want it to be your home page. This looks great um, for a new prospect that hits your website. You know, they can choose where they want to go, home, bio, appointment, philosophy. But you want to have the home page as the first page they hit. This is more important for Google because on your home page, not an intro page, your intro page has to be your home page, right? You want to have authoritative content, 1,000 to 2,000 words on the home page, okay? You have some content here, but it's probably looking around like it's about four to 500 words, all right? We actually want to double that, all right? So this is one thing I'm going to work with you on and get you more content built into your website, okay? Um, so I, I'm a great copywriter, um, and we can get you the, the content necessary to elaborate on the business, uh, on your business, and to get you the content on there, all right? Um, so that's all. Let me show you what authoritative content looks like. So I went to Google um, elephant. I typed in elephant. Look, it's number one, Wikipedia. I'll click on that. So Wikipedia is notorious for popping up as number one because of the authoritative content. Look at this web page. I can scroll for days. It goes on and on about elephants, okay? This is probably 50,000 plus words. Evolution, their habitat, where they come from, what they eat, uh, all that good stuff, okay? This is excessive. Like I said, we want to hit, if you're going to dominate San Diego and, and corner the market and get at the top of those searches, we got to get you 1,000 to 2,000 on the home page, okay? Of all relative material, all talking about massage therapy in San Diego. That has to be mentioned multiple times on the home page. Next, I want to talk to you about backlinks, okay? Um, out of the four, this one's actually the most important one. I usually wait till last to talk about it. Um, but this one is the most important one if you're going to get ranked organically, number one, number two, number three, all right? Um, backlinks, say you have a client thoroughly impressed with their massage, which I'm sure you do a phenomenal job. You have to get one from you, though. Definitely send them back from deployment. I want to get one, Chris. Um, so say they have, you know, they're thoroughly impressed. Say they have a website or they're a blog writer. They'll actually go to that website where they do blogs. They'll write up an article. Then they'll put your website on that blog and post it, publish it. So anyone reading that can click that link, go directly to your website. This is great for you. Now you have a new prospect in San Diego that you could sell a massage to. Um, but most importantly, in Google's eyes, it sees it as a vote, right? Google is a big popularity contest. You know, whoever gets the most votes, just like running for president, whoever gets the most votes wins, right? So it's the same thing. So you're looking at some numbers here, all right? They're all zeros, okay? That's not a good thing. Let me, I'm just being honest with you. So external backlinks, referencing domains, okay? So reference domains, these are pretty much, you know, websites out there that, that have a link to your website on it. Backlinks are how many times your uh, website is linked or on that, on those, on the reference domains, okay? Um, that's those two, and then trust flow zero and trust flow cit of a, a citation flow. So trust flow is the quality of the referencing domains, okay? And citation flow simply is how often are these referencing domains coming in and the backlinks, okay? As of right now, you have zero uh, websites out there mentioning you, okay? So let me show you this chart. This shows you the trust flow meter, okay, the quality of the domain. So right now you're at zero. Obviously, you know, you're not getting any support. So um, there's a medium and a high quality website. So what I do is I actually purchase high quality domains and publish legitimate professional articles about your business. Um, or it could be just an article in general. I've written articles about Air, the Air Force and their planes and how they f refuel them. Um, it doesn't matter what the article is as long as your website is on there and it's linked to your website to show that you have that vote, okay? And all of my URLs are trust flow of 20 and higher, okay? So you're gonna be up here. All your competitors, especially Elements, 
they're they're all up here okay so we got to get you up here um for that that's for the trust flow and then we got to get your domains over time we're going to build you tens and even hundreds all right to get up there um and then the backlinks you know we'll be referencing at least one time per domain okay so this number you want to see it in the hundreds this number again in the hundreds this one will be 20 25 and then usually it's your citation flow um, I do uh, with my local SEO, I do at least two per month. So you'll actually see it. The trust flow and citation flow will almost match in number. This num these numbers are rated 0 to 100, by the way. Okay. Um, and to get it 30 or plus, you have to be Google or Wikipedia. Okay. The, you have to be like some big dogs. All right. But for local businesses, you'll see between 25 and 30. Okay. So that's backlinks. Um, next, let me talk to you about business listings. We also call these citations. So some examples are Yahoo, Facebook, Bing, Yelp, what yellow pages, white pages. I'm, you know, you know all about this. Um, and just looking at, at this uh, page here, it looks like you are listed in quite a few spots, okay? But you have a 78% error rate. This is a very high error rate, all right? When you do these, you have to have business name, address, and phone number identical. If not, Google's going to slap you down, all right? Citations is, is primarily what's responsible, responsible for your map listings, okay? So if you can get, if you can dial these in, at a high number, you can get within the top three of the map listings. Okay, so what your problem is here is like looks like you have a Bing listing with the wrong address. I mean, you have multiple ones with the wrong address, and it looks like your business name has changed here. It looks like your phone number is dialed in, and then look at all these you're missing out on. So I guarantee you, there's prospects looking for massages in 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 uh, San Diego massage therapy in these citations, and they can't find you because you're not listed. More importantly, Google's not taking you serious. So this is a list of the top 50. Um, there's thousands of these in the, in the country. Um, so I get you listed in all of these, the most popular ones. Every location for whatever niche has popular listings, we, I'm going to make sure I get you in those. Uh, and I'll, I'll be doing, doing them at a rate at 25 per month. Okay, so it's quite a few that I'll do for you uh, per month. Um, all right, so last thing I want to talk to you about. Um, oh, by the way, real quick, you actually want to be in hundreds of these. We want to get you in, in three, four, even 500 of these over time. Okay, and we want to keep adding them. All this stuff that I'm showing you, we want to keep doing over time. Essentially, if, you, if we become partners, you can expect to see my face as long as you're giving massages, buddy. So I hope that doesn't scare you. Um, because uh, tr trust me, your competitors, there's SEO guys that know what they're doing that are adding this stuff consistently every month. Um, so this is the direction marketing is going. It's, it's important that you understand that now. All right, last thing. Masa I'm sorry, uh, mobile friendly. All right, so 60% of people, you know, they're walking around searching for whatever product or service. They're actually using their phone. Um, I think that number is even getting greater right now. It's probably going more towards 70 to 80%. Um, but definitely 60 to 80 is, is a good figure. Um, so I did a, I did a scan with my tool here. You are mobile friendly. Very good. But again, it's the, look at the, the home page. You know, we want to get that intro page. We kind of essentially that intro page, unfortunately, Chris, we're just going to have to delete it. All right. We're going to have to delete that and just make your home page and beef up your home page. All right. And then have a nice, um, I know it looks, it looks nice. I don't want to like beat that dead horse. It looks nice. You know, they hit that. Okay. I choose this, this or that. Um, but you definitely want to have, uh, for Google, you need to have the first page as the home page with authoritative content. That's, that's the biggest thing for you right now. All right. Um, there's one more thing I didn't hit on. Let me show you this real quick. Um, so going back to being ranked, right? You want to be ranked. We want to get you here within the top three, just like elements. And then we want to surpass elements. We want to get you up here. Okay, within the top three. So this is what all the uh, percentage of the market looks like. So if you're ranked number one, you're taking about 35% of all those clicks. That's huge. All right. The number 10 person, which is at the bottom of page one, he's getting maybe 3%. And then if you're on, if you're not on page one, you might as well be on page 20. All right. And like I said, I couldn't find you at all within the first 10 pages. Um, honestly, if you're on page, if I could find you on page uh three or four or two, I can kind of gauge uh, how long it's going to take um, to get you up or how quick. But since you're not there at all, it could take a bit longer. But honestly, as soon as I start the SEO, get the citation, the backlinks going, it, the process is already going to start. So you're going to be popping up real quick. 
All right, so that's what it looks like. This is what you can expect. This is why, you know, Elements is getting like 26,000. There's 1.4 million people in San Diego. How many do you think are getting massages on the regular? I mean, quite a few, right? Maybe more than 26,000, you know. I mean, it's getting searched 400,000 times a month. So um, big market, big opportunity for you. Um, so that's SEO, and that's the video, Chris. Um, I appreciate the time you watched it, to, that you took to watch this. Um, I look forward to meeting with you and uh, talking about your business and, and your goals that you have with your business. Um, SEO truly is like the future of internet marketing. Um, there's many things that I can do. I don't want to get into it too much in the video. It's already 15 minutes long now, but um, uh, lead generation, you know, I've also built websites out in uh, different parts of San Diego for other clients had them ranked, you know, and then I, to all the leads, those websites, uh, drew, I just sent them to the business owner that like was in Escondido. Say I have like a Chula Vista site, a Vista site and a Bonita site, you know, but they're in Escondido. They pull all those leads and then they go out and give those services to those cities. So that's another thing that I do. Um, PPC management, you know, Google AdWords, um, there's a guaranteed return of investment, you know, so if you have a service that costs like 500 bucks, and if I'm getting you a thousand clicks, um, two to three percent of them are going to close. So say that's thirty-three clients uh, times five hundred bucks. It's like twenty-four grand, and I charge four grand for the for the service. So you're looking at about a twenty thousand dollar profit. A um, lot of numbers, a lot of information, but we'll sit down and talk about it. Um, I don't take up too much more of your time. I appreciate the time, Chris. Um, hopefully, this makes sense for you and your business, and I look forward to meeting with you. Have a good night.